Ah, it is the moment we have been waiting for. It is, it time. is time to get started. But before we get to the ceremony, first of all, I want to introduce everyone to Callaway Whiteso. She is our virtual wedding coordinator from Wetfully. And you're going to see her out and about doing her thing, working the magic this morning. Callaway, hello. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Okay. Are you ready for showtime? Are you ready to marry Amy and Adam? Absolutely. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. That should be a cue for them. All right, who gives this lady to be married? Her mother and I. All right. All right, beautiful kiss. I would like to begin with a poem by a poet by the name of Wilford Patterson. It's called The Art of Marriage. And it says the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's not taking each other for granted. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It's standing together to face the world. It's forming a circle of love that gathers the entire family. It's speaking words of encouragement to each other. It's not looking for perfection in one another, and it's having a sense of humor. It's also giving each other an atmosphere in which to grow. It is not marrying the right person. Instead, it's being the right person. This is the art of marriage. Amy and Adam, you make a beautiful couple, and I wish you all the best. But as you enter into this union, I encourage you to remember the words of 1 Corinthians 13, which is entitled the love chapter, written by the apostle Paul. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, keeps no record of wrong. Love does not rejoice in evil, but rejoices in the truth. Love never fails. Amy, first of all, you are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And Adam, you're a handsome man as well. But I got a question. Adam, do you take Amy to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold for this day forward for richer or poorer? 
in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward. Amen. Amy, the same question to you. Do you take Adam to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for richer and poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward? I do. All right. All right, where are the rings? <laughs> uh, but a handsome little fella. <laughs> As a token of your divine covenant, you will now give and receive the wedding rings. The ring, by the way, symbolizes an unbroken circle. It is a symbol of everlasting love. Amy, I want you to give your ring to Adam and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Adam, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to give the ring to Amy and repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. By the power invested in me by the state of Ohio and the living God, I now present you man and wife. Adam, you may salute your beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Amy Haas. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, that's so incredible. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. What a beautiful couple. Our first ever Zoom virtual wedding right here on Fox 8 News.